Hello, hello everyone. Happy Friday. It is Sharon Wilson, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here in Australia. I hope you're going well. It is Friday the 2nd of February. I'm just trying to get my, um, my iPad up so I can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> see who's watching and everything. Um, oh, where am I? It's gone. It's gone. Anyway, never mind. I'll leave that for the moment. I might have a look at that bit later. Uh, how are you going? <laughs> Hope you're going well. We're already a twelfth of the way through 2024. Can you believe it? I was sort of talking to my team last night going, we're twelfth of the way through. Like, where has the year gone already? I don't know. I'm hoping you can hear me and everything. Hi, Deb. How are you going? Um, but yeah, it's it's... We're going to cruise through this year really, really quickly. I can just tell. It's just one of those things that, you know, you sort of start off the year fine and then all of a sudden it just zooms past you and you just don't know where the year has gone. <laughs> I don't. Ah, oh, there I am. Hang on. Oh, now I'm there. I think I'm there now. It's just not playing. <laughs> I don't know. Morning, Sam. How are you going? No, not that one. Oh, I don't know what's going on with my iPad today. It's, it's playing up. It's saying it's live. I don't know. Maybe my internet's not working very well. Who knows? Uh, anyway, <laughs> today we're going to be looking at the Trusty Tools stamp set. So I'm hoping everything works well technology wise. And, you know, um, we're going to be looking at the Trusty Tools stamp set. Uh, so this stamp set is um, in the current mini catalog and if I can get myself sorted I can have a look at pricing and stuff as well but this comes in a bundle you can also it's a sweet uh, is a sweet product there's coordinating cardstock uh, designer series paper in the celebration catalog um, so let me just pull that up ah. I felt so organized this morning and then not so much. <laughs> Never mind. Um, so the Trusty Tools bundle, um, the bundle itself is $96.25. And so if you get the bundle, then you can also grab the fabulous oh, <clears throat> designer series paper called the Trusty Toolbox. Oh, all my sheets are missing. So there's two sheets there. They're not all the sheets that I want. Oh wow. Hang on. No, I'm fine. I'm missing, I'm missing my other six, six sheets. Whoops. Um, <laughs> so let me show you online if I can. Um, trusty toolbox. And I'll just grab my mouse. Hang on a minute. Whoop. Um, I don't know what all that is. Hang on. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so let's go with computer. All right, so this is the designer series paper. So you can earn this for free when you spend $90 or more. Um, and so the papers are pretty, pretty cool. So you've got a whole sheet of um, tools, two of these sheets each, and there's like grid lines behind Another sheet is um, the hammers and the screw heads on the other side. Um, and again, you've got screws and then lines. Another page with lots of tools and just a um, plainish background on the other side. Um, you've got screwdrivers on one side and then like grey... Um, gray sort of pattern on the other side and then you've got the 
um, studs for want of a bad term sort of like the pinholes that you'd actually put tools onto and a ruler measurement on the other side um, and so that's what they have at the moment um, and so you can actually earn that for free when you spend $90 or more so going back to um, my overhead camera Is that right? I'm hoping that I'm hoping that's changing correctly. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so we're using the trusty tools stamp set, and I was having a play with this just the other day, and I was actually I was really liking it. So I sort of came up with saw a few ideas pop up um, on Pinterest and um, everything, and so I thought, well, let's have a bit more of a play and see what we can uh, do and so I just yeah I had a good play with this set which is nice um, just trying to get a few few images mounted like you've got a little tape measure in here and you've got the st sets the stamps that actually will color in the different shapes as well so you've got the little that's that'll color in the tape measure and you've got the handles as well so that's for the hammer you've got the paint handle that you can color in your paintbrush and for this for the paintbrush you've also got a little squiggly line this one here which is actually the paint on the top of the paintbrush. I'm not sure what you can see better. You can see the paint on the top of the paintbrush for that one. And then you've got little screws and nuts as well, which, oh, there we go. Um, yeah, so let's have a bit of a play with that one. Uh, so first up, I want to grab, I've got a couple of bits already sorted, ready to go. So I've got a bit, bit of designer series paper. So that was just the, um, <clears throat> and it's, uh, what is it? Oh, Poppy Parade, Poppy Parade um, ink. And I've also got some tools that I've already chopped up. So I've actually fussy cut all of these. Um, so first off I want to fold my card in half and I'm just going to stamp in the background using pebbled path. And I really just want to make it as random as possible. I know some of this will actually get covered up. Um, let's see if I can throw in a paintbrush as well. And then I've just got the screws and nuts, which I'll just come in and fill in a bit more of a gap. So I've got that. And so then I'm actually going to stick that one down there. Use your grid paper just to line everything up. Uh, 
And then I had all my scissors around. I might just move my microphone a bit more closer. There you are. All right, so my scissors and trim off the excess. And then with this piece, was it this? That wasn't that one. Was it that one? Who was that one? Okay, so this one here. What I want to do is I actually want to lay these down. Um, so it looks like they I've sort of cut off the page. And so these these bits are all from around the edges where they've got the piece of tools. The tools cut off anyway, so I wanted to utilize the um, cut off off cuts so that I can actually um, create another card with it and there's less waste. So just grabbing the tools and then just putting them down sort of working out where you want them to to land. So I've got a drill and I want to use that on that side. And I want to have room for a sentiment somewhere as well. So some pieces may not stay. I think I like that, but I need to just send a, put a sentiment in its plate in there somewhere. So we might go a thank you, because that's a small sentiment. And as we've got Poppy Parade in the background, I'm going to use Poppy Parade on top as a sentiment as well. So I'm just going to shuffle these down, see if I can stamp straight. Uh, there and then I can layer all the pieces around. So. This one, I'm just going to go back to some blue. Um, I'll try and get as much reading as possible. <laughs> I like the saw blade. I think that's pretty cool. It does take a bit more to cut out that one. Mm. Wonder if with my If I put that one there, oh, actually, maybe I put him there. I could possibly put that one there. And I could probably put my pencil there. Okay. And then I can just trim around the edges. To cut off the excess.
So it's a lot less wastage. You can use up um, the edges of the DSP and I think it makes it quite effective. And so you've got that, um, but the starkness of the white, oh, actually that no, doesn't go too bad. So the original one I did is that one. Um, and I didn't like the starkness of the white too much. So I actually um, sponged around the edge, but I think I'm gonna leave this one as is. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this one as is, but I will pop it up on dimensionals. And so, there you go, you've got a fabulous new card um, that you've used off cuts of the edges. Now there's a bit of glue on either side, so I'm going to wait until that's completely dry and then just get my um, adhesive remover and just get rid of some of that uh, so it looks a bit cleaner. But I really like that. Um, it makes it quite effective. You've got a nice little thank you card. You've got an you are, you're the awesome, you're the most awesome. Uh, just two simple cards that have just used the paper and the stamps um, and just fussy cutting out the images. So there's one lot of cards. I might just put that one there. The next one, um, I'm still sort of figuring out in my head, but I wanted to use Night of Navy and Misty Moonlight. So I've got those stamps as well. Uh, and the inspiration from this one, my card's gone walkabout. There it is. Is this one here? So I want to um, change from the red um, and go to the navy and change it up a bit. So, and I was just trying to figure out whether I go misty moonlight underneath or the um, night of navy. So that's what I'm just trying to figure out which which way around I like the card. So I might just stamp first. That's what I'll do. I'll stamp first and then I'll um, work out what I want. So I want a smaller piece because I'm going to do a border around the outside. Hey Julie, how are you going? Good to see you. I'm just going to quickly clean my stamps. Squeakiness of the chamois. Sorry about the squeaky. Um, and then the spanner. And so with this one, I'm gonna actually use the Knight of Navy as my color under, at the base, and then use the Misty Moonlight for the handles um, and everything. So uh, do I wanna do yeah, I might stamp the dad and then I can work around. I'm going to stamp dad first and then I can work around that.
my paintbrush. Mm. Now we'll go up. So now I've got my misty moonlight and I'm just going to um, fill in some of the gaps. Oh, only one of them. <laughs> Feeling like it's a tiny bit dark, but I think we might just live with it for the moment. Make sure you put the paint the right way around. Oops, that was a bit off kilter. That's a bit better. <laughs> See if I can cover up the bristles completely this time. <laughs> um, and the handle on. Uh, where is that one? Here. Yeah. The handle on the spanner is slightly different so it's a bit wider a bit longer and then I've got um, I actually brought my blends a couple of my blends over um, so I want to color in all the grey bits of the spanners and the hammer. I prefer to use the, the um, bullet point when I'm colouring, I think, just because I feel like I've got more control. I just, the brush tip, I don't feel like I've got as much control. And I'm not a fabulous colourer. I try, but I'm not fabulous, that's okay. There's all kinds of different skills that we all have and some are better at colouring than others and that's just not me and that's okay. Just going to color this in gray as well. But for the um, tape, for the tape and the button, I'm actually going to just use um, what have I got? I've got oh, Daffodil Delight. There we go. And so, which way around do I go? Hmm. 
Navy. Oh, Misty Moonlight. I think I'm going to go Navy underneath. Navy as the border. So I'm just going to chop that down to 10 centimeters. Oops, wrong one. By uh, 14.3. And so let's. Very simple card, but I love it. Very much just stamps, ink, and paper. There you go. So that is another card, and we can stamp the inside. If we grab the paintbrush, and the paintbrush handle, I was a bit lower on that one. What I can do is I can actually colour in that as, as grey. And so you've got a fabulous dad card. So it could be birthday, could be Father's Day, could be anything, anything you want it to be. Um, so that was the second card. So that was my original. And so I could have put the dots, bolts and everything in there, but I think that's, it works out without having the bolts as well. So um, with this one, I've actually used the dark and the light blends, but this one I just went, no, nah, just go straight and just color straight in. And I don't think that's too bad. That's a bit more simple. I actually do like that one. It sort of feels cleaner, I think, to me. It feels a bit cleaner. So. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with my um, Facebook, but anyway. <laughs> Let's not worry about that one. So the next thing... Um, was I was getting inspiration from some of the other cards around as well, which I can't seem to find now. Where are they? Ah, uh, there you are, those ones. So I had some other ideas that I was looking at to try and replicate. Um, and so one of them, um, so the dies, I'll show you the dies. So these are the dies and you get like a pin board, like, you know, where you put the pins and stuff in so that you can actually hold the tools up. Um, so we've got that one. So I'm, I'm going to use that. Um, and so you've got, you've got the drill, obviously, and the front of the drill. You've got a handle that you can use, the top of the hammer. So you can make, um, if you've got silver foil, you can make a lot of um, different um, different tools and so you've got uh, the top of the brush paint brush you've got the nuts and bolts uh, that looks like a saw looks like a saw no that's the tape measure ah that's the tape measure um, so you've got lots of little 
little bits and pieces that you can create uh, using the dies. So I'm going to use that one first. And I've got my little mini stamp and cut. So I'm gonna I've got two, so I might actually just do two. Cut two out at the same time. Why do one when you can do two? So I'll just do them one at a time though. You can see all the dots. I don't know whether you can. All the dots that are on top. <laughs> this cuts out really well, this one. mini away and so then we've got our little pegboards um, and I wanted to get out oh, I'm gonna get out my um, favorite color pebbled path and chop that down And then I'm going to chop that down again to 10. By 14.3. And I want to emboss this one. To emboss this one, I actually need my big, my big machine. So... I'm going to use the metal plate 3D embossing folder. And you just need platform one and platform three to emboss this because it's a 3D embossing folder. <laughs> I sold you on this set, have I? Yeah. I saw I always love the tools. Um I know it's probably partly my husband's a handyman, like well not a handyman. I shouldn't have, he, he's a tradie. <laughs> I don't like the term handyman. I don't know why. Um <laughs> And so I do like the the tools one. So I've got just done the embossing uh, the 3D embossing. So I'm going to glue that one down. So at the moment I'm just um, casing or copying from Bree Renwick, uh, who's a fellow demonstrator. Um, can't see where she's from. Where is she? Not quite sure where she's from. But Bree Renwick is her name. And so then I'm pulling out, where is it? Uh, oh, that's a different one that I was going to do. Huh. So <laughs> there's another one I want to do. <laughs> one more card after this one, I promise. <laughs> no, I actually wasn't going to do that one. Hang on. No, no. So I'm getting myself confused with someone when another card that I was looking at. It's that one I wanted, but I'm going to change it. So I'm going to mix this up. So it's going to be um, a mixture of yeah, Breeze card because I'm using 
those colours. And also Chat and Craft. I'm not sure who she is. In inspiring Incan. That's what it is. Um, <laughs> but I'm actually going to use that on top. And I'm going to use... I'm going to use black. Well, that's not big enough, is it? Nope. So this is the size of this piece is 10 centimeters by just under six and a half so let's chop it down to 10 and then it was there so was it 6.3 so let's go 6.8 let's just do another 6.8 to do the second one Oh, well, that's not right. I need a 10.5. <laughs> My mistake. 10.5 <laughs> is what I want. Whoops. <laughs> but I'm still going 6.8. glue this one down so obviously you want to be careful with this one because it's got all the holes so you don't want to get glue through all the holes so glue dots might be a good option for this sticking this one down but I'm just going to use the Tombow and just try and use as little as I need to as little as I can some glue to glue this one down and then I've already pre-cut a whole heap of tools again save a bit of time and where did my dimensionals go Three, those two. So let's see what I have. We'll go the hammer. whether I need pliers as well um, let's go the pencil I just need to trim down some of the dimensionals
right, so our tools are out of the way. And then we want a sentiment. So what have we got in our set? So I'm only doing, we might do a Happy Father's Day because I'm only using this stamp set. I didn't want to use any other set. I just want to show you how versatile this stamp set is, what you can do with it. And um, you don't necessarily need the dies. Obviously I've used it, used the dies for this, for the background here. Um, but you wouldn't necessarily need to do that either. Um, but if you're going to buy the stamp set, buy the dies because that way you can actually use them. And it's, yeah, it gets you over that $90 spend, which means you can buy this paper. Oh, sorry. Earn this paper. Earn this paper for free. <laughs> All right, so I might pick up the Lost Lagoon in this one. And I've got a piece of basic white. And so I'm going to trim that down to 10 centimeters. So then I've got a little strip that I can use. My grid paper feels a bit um, wobbly at the moment. It was a bit wavy. <laughs> oh, let's get that a bit better. That's a bit better. And let's trim that way. I trim that way. And then you've got the Happy Father's Day. So that's card number three. So one, two, and three. What do you think? I'm liking it. I'm liking these cards. Um, now, what else do I do? Let me see what else I've, I can find. And then if I just use the designer series paper, we'll do that one as well. Um, so let's just use the designer series paper. Let's um, make that, where do I want to go? I'll go this way, I think. So I'm just going to cut it straight down 10 centimeters uh, by 14.1, I think. Actually, I want to probably try and trim that down a bit more. Uh, yeah, let's go 9.7. Nine point seven and mm. try to find a nice little border for this one. I can always go back to my I might just go pool party. Um, 
I think pool party in black. Yeah, let's go pool party in black. I'll see if this one works. Lost Lagoon, not Pool Party. Why do I say that? I did, I said Pool Party, didn't I? I meant Lost Lagoon. Lost Lagoon and Black. I'm going to go four centimetres. Oops. Oh, I need that one. And I want to go for 3.6 centimetres. Lost Lagoon, but I need to get rid of the Navy. Let's try that again. Flip it. Hmm, bit of, t bit of a tinge of blue in there, feels like. Um, and we might bring in some pecan pie. And the you're the most awesome. I just realized I wanted something else. I wanted some twine. Some linen thread.
let's just chop a tiny bit of that off. So probably about nine point five, I think. So let's pop that one up on dimensionals. of tools that we can put on there as well. There you go. Ah, just move some of this stuff out of the way. So there are my four cards for today that one out of the way for you. What do you think of those? Do you like them? I'm liking them. I think they're quite... Whoops. Everything's falling. No. Everything's falling. <laughs> so that is it for today. I hope you like them. Like, I... Yeah, I've enjoyed playing with this set and um, this bundle and I haven't even I haven't even scratched the surface really of what you can do with this set. You've got the dies that you can use so you can stamp and um, die cut all of the dies, all of the tools and everything. So I really like um, yeah, I like the simplicity that you can you can create and then you can step it up a fair bit as well. Um, do a lot of fussy cutting, uh, do lots of um, yeah, lots of cutting out of all the different elements that you can do. So I love, I love this set um, quite a lot. And so I'm glad you joined me to um, share this with me and watch me as I created. Um, I hope I've inspired you. It sounds like I've inspired Julie to um, look at this set again. And um, yeah, sometimes it takes someone to show you what you can do. So then you can go, oh, I really want that one now. <laughs> so, um, as always, you can always purchase everything that I've used um, at my online store, stampinwithsharon.com.au. Yep. Um, or sharonwilson.stampinup.net. Uh, either either will take you uh, to my blogs and you can click on shop now anytime. Um, and you can shop from home 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can earn lots of free stuff right now if you um, when you spend ninety dollars or more. Uh, so uh, check out the website, check out the store, and see what you can actually get and see what's available. Uh, there's actually brand new kits that have been released today, uh, yesterday. Um, there's a nice um, decor um, project um, which has four frames, um, and then there's a birthday card kit again as well. So um, check them out. Check out all the kits. There's, um, they're bringing out two each week, each month, sorry, two each month um, for this year. So, um, yeah, we're going to be having 24 kits this year alone, which is awesome. And I love kits. Uh, you can also, they've also dropped some new uh, celebration items that you can earn when you spend $90 or more. Um, and that includes a couple of kits that they've actually put on um, for celebration that you can earn for free. And also some designs, series paper, some stamps. 
Um, so there's lots of things that you can actually earn for free right now. So check them all out. Um, take some, uh, grab a cuppa and check out the website and um, see what you can purchase. And don't forget, you can always join my team. If your wish list is really long, um, if it's like $203 worth, I would suggest joining my team and actually, um, yeah, getting getting extra for your money. So when you um, you spend $169 to join and you get $235 worth of product included in that. And then there's actually a bonus until the end of this month, which could be the glass mat um, that I've shown you previously, or you could actually add extra product to your starter kit. So there's two options to choose from, and I think they're both fabulous deals. So uh, check that out as well. And I will see you again next week for another Facebook Live. And I hope you have a fabulous weekend. I'm not sure what the weather's going to be like this weekend. I think it's starting to get a bit hotter again. So stay cool and we will see you next time. Bye.